This particular administration, they were coming unprepared. As far as I'm concerned, they were coming unprepared. They were just want to grab power. They just want to rule. But that is not what we need in this country. It's a pity. We have to be sensitive right now. Yeah, our problem right from the onset is leadership problem. We know it. Let me go ahead and do it. If that is, we solve Nigeria problem. Let me go ahead. It is not a bad thing to renovate the president's lodge. The poor masses are passing through a lot. People are not eating from a dustbin. What is the essence of governance? Is it not to provide security, provide food, and enabling environment for people to survive? In a society where greater percentage of people are living in abject poverty, poorer than even Afghanistan, and somebody want to, want to acquire a, a yacht for 500 million, about five, five billion, and want to renovate the distance when Nigerian debt profile is increasing on a daily basis. What are his plans? I keep telling you when, that this particular administration, they were coming unprepared. As far as I'm concerned, they were coming unprepared. They were just want to grab power. They just want to rule. But that is not what we need in this country. We need a president that will listen to the genius of the people. A president that will have the interests of the people at heart. How can you be leading? You want to live, live flamboyant life when you have acquired all the wealth in the distance. What are you doing with all those wealth when your citizens are dying? When your citizens, people go to different hospitals, you say cops and they remove cops every day because of hardship. People are dying because they don't have even have money to take care of, take care of medical facilities. And someone is acquiring yet of five billion. Uh, renovating with 19 billion when people are dying. Is that, is that, is that not eti on, on, is highly unethical? So what I'm trying to say in this particular administration is in this um, I am not, that is what Nigerians want. Nigeria, they want, they want, they want cycle funds. They want people that will come and promise them heaven and aid. At the end of the day, nothing, nothing comes in. Uh, no, let me tell you something, what the, what, the, what the political leaders have done to Nigeria. There's one idea that says, that when, if you want to conquer a nation, you first of all disarm that nation. That is what the political class have done to Nigeria. That's what they have done to our youth. What, the only way to disarm a nation is not only by removing gun or no. There are so many ways you can disarm a nation. Disarm them through poverty, illiteracy, um, 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 illiteracy, um, unemployment, and that's exactly what they have done to the youth. They have disarmed them, making them vulnerable to be used whenever they need them for political clandestine activities. That's, they understand what I mean. And so what they, um, well, they have made our use poor. So that at any point in time when they come for election, they will just give them two, two thousand, three, three thousand, and I ask them to go and kill. They will go and kill. Is that the kind of leader we have in this country? Well, um, I believe it's too early to judge this present administration. But, but the way things are going, people are dying. It's a pity we have to be sensitive right now. It's not easy for anybody. Even the so-called opportunes are complaining. But this is not the right time to actually make any kind of investment that doesn't directly affect the people. When I mean affect, I mean what the people can gain from it. Because times are really difficult and we must be sensitive to people's opinions and feelings. Because you see, people are human beings and we're all people. And if you, if the president actually or whatever, whoever is in power, opportunity to be in power, makes indiscriminate um, or use of the funds they have, it might lead to any kind of thing, you know. I don't want to say anything that is actually chaotic, but we just have to be a little bit sensitive. It is not easy, that's the truth. But I think also, to make things better, we can criticize, we should also think about ways of making things better. If also he can actually have, I don't know if he has a committee, where uh, made up of youths, not just youths that are technocrats, everyday people, just like you, and then ask questions and get their feedback and incorporate it. You know, steps, it may not be easy, but ways in which things can affect gradually and seep down, and so people can actually believe in him. Is the president intending to do good? I think so. Nobody intends to be bad. But people around you also matter. Well, I will call it rumors by now, but we have read it in newspaper and everywhere. If it's true, in fact, it's a very disappointing situation we are in Nigeria. Our problem right from the onset is leadership problem. We know it. I think you can hear what is happening in the house. People, they are acquiring 160 million G, 130 million. In fact, we don't have leaders that have, you know, that have the interest of masses. That's what I can tell you. This leader we are having, we don't have them. Because honestly, what is happening in Nigeria now is very pathetic. 
You can see how people are suffering, people are looking for But now, the president is using $5 billion to renovate. In fact, it's very disappointing. In fact, Nigeria is, we don't know what Nigeria, Nigeria is going now. Because, in fact, all our leaders, they are disappointing. I can say that's what the, the language, they are disappointing. If it's true what we are hearing from the House to the executive to the legislature to the judiciary, everyone is disappointed. It's not a bad thing to renovate the president's lodge, but considering the times and seasons we're in, Nigerians are suffering. A lot of issues are happening. It might be the, it might be a good uh, a good suggestion, okay. But at this time, at this point in time, when Nigerians, where we have over 133 percent poverty in Nigeria, especially in this country at this time, it's not a good decision. And for God's sakes, what does the president need a yacht for? It's heartbreaking to see that Nigerians are really suffering. Like I'm coming from somewhere now and I had to literally give someone money. A lot of people are crying. So many people don't even know the next meal for tonight as we speak. Look around you. What do you see? It's, it's heartbreaking to see that the number one person in our country does not feel the plight of the people. He cannot, even if he wants comfort, the president is not poor. The president has so many resources at his beck and call. He should actually be looking at how to alleviate poverty from the people, how to help people come out of this mess. It's really a mess, I'm sorry. If you look at other countries all over the world, even other African countries, a lot of innovations are going on. People are thinking on how to make beautiful innovations, how to help people, how to reach out to the lowest of the lowest. But here in Nigeria, it's not even a problem. It's so sad. I really don't always want to talk about this because I feel like when we talk about it, it's just a waste of time and energy. But you know what? We will not stop talking. We will keep talking until our voices get to that place or to that part or to that time where they will no longer want to do things by themselves, but they will always remember the voice of the people, which is supposed to count at the long run. They've not brought out any plans to make Nigeria better, but I believe they will see rollout if they have any. If they have any. Because when in Buhari's administration we are promising that Buhari will make Nigeria better, the psychophants, the problem we have are the political psychophants. The, the, those who are only interested in their pocket and interested in, the thing, in their pocket and the pocket of their family. They don't even consider your, you and I our own interests. The, once a leader is there and they are benefiting from that leader, they keep singing and singing praises, praises upon praises on, on, on the leader. But do you understand what I mean? With, even when the, the leader is going wrong, for them to correct, how do we correct the leader? It's not true criticism. Uh, but they won't. They won't. They will give. They won't give room to criticism. They will have to be sing praise him just because they are benefiting. So what are we talking about? If the presidency deem it fit to acquire, I mean, such an yard, let me go ahead and do it. If that is, we solve Nigeria problem. Let me go ahead. And, if that is part of the manifesto to the common man on the street, so let me go ahead and do it. The history will definitely judge.